Okay, so in this tutorial I want to teach you how to um, create a DJ mix uh, in the Arrange window. Uh, first thing we've done is we've made two audio tracks. If you're not sure how to do that, it's pretty easy. Uh, you just uh, would hit Insert Audio Track and you can create it. Or you can hit Control T. For this tutorial we're only going to need two tracks. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to going to open up this window here, get to your effects, and I like to uh, use EQ3 because it kind of has all the standard features of a DJ mixer, just like so. And then I like to take these EQs and push them all the way up, all the way up. You can do it the way you like to. I kind of like to have full on and full off type of situation. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag in our track. So I'm going to hit the tab key, get in our range window here. And uh, just to let you know, um, the way that this uh, tutorial works, uh, it's only going to work on version live 5 and 6 that has auto warping. We're just taking advantage of the fact that um, Ableton's really good at figuring out the tempo of a song. Um, even if it's not good at finding the exact beat point or the start of the beat. So with this way, just by kind of dragging and lining things up, it pretty much puts things on time 90% of the time. So let's go ahead and drag in our tracks. I'm going to drag it in from iTunes. And go ahead and drag and drag. Just like so. And then we're going to open these up because we really want to take a look at the audio. Now, if you're dragging in songs uh, for the first time, they may take a little bit of time uh, to load up because it's, it's got to figure out the warping. These are already warped, so it's pretty much ready to go. Um, and then the, uh, really the next thing that you want to do is you want to, you know, you probably should know your tracks fairly well but um, you can kind of see visually where things drop out and where things come back in and that's a real advantage um, in doing a mix uh, in Ableton. And so typically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at my second track and s make sure that where the where the first beat starts is actually the downbeat. So I'll solo that. I'll get in closer and yep starts on a downbeat so I know that this very first beat uh, when I line it up with the downbeat of this track that they're gonna match. So the next thing I'm gonna do is try to find a good mix point. So I'm gonna take this uh, this break here and um, or just to make it simpler let's go ahead and, and uh, we'll put it here at the end. So let's find a good good point. Probably right here sounds like a good place. And I'm just going to get nice and close to that beat. There we go. That's good. And then I'm going to make a, a location marker. And the way you do that is uh, you see the, uh, the speaker right here. You just right click when you see the speaker and add locator. And then I can put mix in one. That way I don't lose my spot when I'm trying to I'm trying to drag the other track. Like so. And then you get in closer. You just want to make sure these beats line up. Probably something like this. 
best way to tell is go in and take a look at some other beats and see if they're lining up. All right. Let's see. So we'll line this up here.